Around 48 hours after the Duke and Duchess of Sussex shared their story with the world, the palace have finally broken their silence. But they haven't said much. Three short sentences released this evening from the Queen. In the statement, they say, The family is saddened to learn how challenging the last few years have been for Harry and Meghan. The issues raised, particularly of race, are concerning and will be addressed by the family privately. They go on to say, Harry, Meghan and Archie will always be much loved family members. The royals kept up appearances this morning, Prince Charles visiting a vaccination centre in North London, one that's set up to encourage people from diverse backgrounds to get a COVID jab. Ahead of time, we were told by the pastor at the gate that no one would be talking about Harry and Meghan. While Prince Charles was leaving, one reporter tried. Sir, can I ask, what did you think of the interview? No answer. Dupe Awafeso, who went to get a vaccine at the centre, wants the royal family to look into what's gone on. They need to investigate. They need to, at least, to be able to. Whoever said that was unfair on Meghan. Very, very unfair. But we need to know who did. And whoever has done that, it should be able to face the whatever is going to happen to the person. It should be, it should, it should be very tough. Because yeah. saying that to to somebody is not is unfair. We are all equal. We be black or whatever colour we are. She's one of 11 million people in this country who watched the interview last night as Meghan and Harry gave their account of the last few years. It was only once we were married and everything started to really worsen that I came to understand that not only was I not being protected, but that they were willing to lie to protect other members of the family, but they weren't willing to tell the truth to protect me and my husband. Downing Street said the Prime Minister had watched, but didn't make any further comment, even after being told that across the pond, the White House praised the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Let me first say that um, obviously many of us caught the interview. Uh, I don't have uh, I don't have as many Americans did and many people around the world um, for anyone to come forward and speak about their own struggles with mental health and tell their own personal story. That takes courage. The interview is also being talked about further afield, particularly in Commonwealth countries. The hashtag abolish the monarchy trending in Australia and New Zealand recently. I think after the end of the Queen's reign, that is the time for us to say, OK, we've passed that watershed. Do we really want to have whoever happens to be the head of state of the, the king or queen of the UK uh, automatically our head of state? I mean, it's we, we have... Every other position in our constitution, you know, in our constitution and our system of government, one way or another, we get to choose. Even though there's now a response from the royal family, Harry and Meghan's version of events was subtly challenged. The statement saying some recollections may vary. There will be private conversations about race and mental health going on now inside the monarchy. But this seems to have ignited many chats about these issues outside the palace walls too.